everyone, so, um, I'm just sitting here, you know, out here in a shopping center, and I'm just smoking a cigar, and, uh, it's a little bit on the cool side, actually. <coughs> God damn it, hey, nail bags. Um, I had the best pastrami sandwich, like, not too long ago. So good. I kept some of the, I kept the chips, because it's like, I'm so full, I can't eat the chips, so I, I'm just going to take them with me. I'll just give them to my brother-in-law when he goes to work early in the morning. I'll just say, hey, do you want chips for your lunch tomorrow? Here you go. Here's some chips. So, um, anyway, um, yeah, it sucks. I mean, I want to talk about me, not really other people right now, but it just sucks. I'm going to be 30 in the next couple of months and I've never had a girlfriend still. I just tell people I've had a girlfriend, so I don't think I'm pathetic. That's like the only thing I lie about. I did date, and then that went escalated, and we boned, and uh, it was a disaster. Um, no, I, I, I advise people to take it slow when you're dating don't fuck just that quick because it fucks you up man I've been more depressed about it since and I felt used I was felt harassed I felt violated because she was doing things to me that I didn't appreciate and I didn't like I mean you know I, I felt like I couldn't say no on a lot of things I, I that's why I'm not her friend anymore. I mean, I don't care if she's fr if one of my best friends is friends with her. I don't care. I'm not going to stop her from being friends with whoever, but I felt violated. I felt used, and, you know, I felt like, you know, I couldn't say no. I mean, she was giving me a blowjob in the parking lot, and she gave me this really psychotic look like you know when I grabbed her hair because I thought oh okay well maybe I'll just grab her hair and I was afraid I didn't know what to do I was really terrified and I tried to hold her hair back and she gave me this crazy look in my and I was like okay so then I just stood there and she was on top of me and she's a big woman I couldn't get her off me so, you know, when people say me too for women, I felt the same way. That's why I'm not friends with her anymore. I, I felt violated. You know, I still feel like I'm a, I still feel like I'm an adolescent in a man's body. I've always felt that way. I've always felt like I was a adolescent teenager stuck in a man's body that's that's how it feels like that's why you know I relate to transgender women because it's like you know they 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 transition to reflect on how they feel and I dress the way I dress to reflect on how I feel and when I was a kid all I wore was dicky pants and you know jean jackets and sweaters and whatever and you know, I have a very casual look that I've done forever, and I'm the same way since, you know. But I've always felt like I was trapped, and, and like, I'm this just, this teenager, like, 15, just stuck in a man's body. I feel like, like, I'm just, I am not, I still haven't grown yet. I still feel like an adolescent, so... That's why relationships don't work out because, you know, because it's hard for me to process their emotions and everything. And um, I think it's just part of my men mentality, you know, so. Lost my virginity for the first time a couple months ago and I regret it. I should have waited for the right woman. You know, a lot of people say it's stupid, but I don't think so. I think I would have been a lot happier if I did. I mean, there's this girl that I really like. 
she's beautiful and she was dating this guy for four years and he didn't want to be married so he broke up and I've always wanted to be married you know just that thought of saying that's my wife you know instead of saying that's my girlfriend think about how much of a dramatic impact it is to say that's my wife my wife and I you know sounds a lot better than my girlfriend and I and that always drives me nuts, by the way, when people say, oh, me and my boyfriend. I'm like, it's my boyfriend and I, God damn it. <laughs> That's like the one biggest thing that drives me nuts. I always correct it, correct people. Like, I was with my best friend, and she goes, yeah, so me and Eric, I go, you mean Eric and I? <laughs> I told her that. I was like, you mean him and I? You know, because then it just doesn't sound right. You know. So, anyway. Um, I'm hoping, you know, I'll know what love is. I just feel like with my disability and everything, it makes it makes me incapable of falling in love. That's how it feels. You know, it, it feels like I'm incapable of falling in love. Like, I feel like I'm not a human being, you know? And I'm almost 30. And then, um, I just feel like I'm out of place with society in general. And, um, so I just kind of feel like I have to suck it up and just do what other people do because or else I'll never be happy because I have to abide by the laws of the world and you can't be yourself. Because there's no one who's me. So I'm going to try and uh, get a vasectomy. Hopefully, sometime this year or next year, and then, you know, if I'm with a girl, then I don't have to worry about getting her pregnant. Plus, I heard it's good for your prostate. I hear it reduces prostate cancer if you get a vasectomy, and it's reversible. It's just more time-consuming, and it's not covered by insurance if you do, if you reverse it, so... So yeah.